Hi and welcome to the Hartfield Alchemist channel. I nearly forgot what I was going to say then. <laughs> I don't edit these videos unless something really goes absolutely wrong. Um, and the reason I don't is because I don't believe in something being perfect. I believe something in the moment and it has its own quirk, doesn't it? So if it's annoying that it's not really perfect or really spot on, I'm sorry about that, but I have to be true to myself. And I'd rather be authentic and in alignment with my heart, which really shares with me that you know, I don't need to be perfect in any moment, I just need to be. And with that, it's just relaxing, isn't it? I, I don't feel stressed, you see. Um, and I think that's partly how I managed to stay in hot space. Okay. So anyway, today, what would I like to share with you? Um, it feels like a spiritual uplifting message today. So let's bring spirit into the mix, our spiritual help of the highest good and for the greatest good. And let's just see what's wishing to pop through today to uplift us in the moment and to celebrate our beautiful lives on this amazing planet. Ooh, there it is. Love it, love it, love it for you. Ah. Well, I think it's wonderful. 36, it's a nine. It's often about fulfillment. It's coming to a closing point of a chapter. Not necessarily the whole cycle. 10 represents a really big cycle for me. Nine for me represents smaller chapters and cycles within bigger ones. So something coming to an end, completion. Fulfillment though, a satisfying ending, a satisfying moment. Yeah. Um, it's also a very cosmic number. It's very switchy, 369, of course. Um, Temple of Dreams, sacred dreams, prophecies and dream journeys. I mean, just take a look at this wonderful place. Wouldn't you? I love it. I'm just going to show you the backs of these cards. Because I just kept seeing diamonds and triangles and all sorts of shapes coming in and out there <laughs> flower of life on there but you know how that switchy is okay so when i look at the card i can see the crescent moon so i'm drawn to the lunar eclipse thing again and we are just about ready to go into that stage soon a week or so um i do feel dreaming and playing and wonder making, creativity, arty things, crafty things are going to be quite big for some of us because in these dreamy fluid states we can um, bring through the most fantastic ideas or inspirations that could guide our lives or those of others and I feel that I'm not talking about getting distracted from everything that's happening out there because there's plenty to be distracted over. But I'm talking about changing the vibration of what is distracting. So things that are distracting, mainstream media news, these types of things, or family dramas or anything that's happening like that, you know, that sort of thing. I'm talking about not having to focus constantly on those things when you can. Not being dragged off into distractions that are upsetting or stressful okay so really holding a place of peace inside yourself that enables you to be enriched by things like art writing crafty things gardening um, it, it could be anything absolutely anything anything creative is what i'm feeling that type of focusing takes you away from huge distractions which are not necessarily good for you, okay? So I would say find some time this week in particular to do some creative things. If it's singing, sing and be in that moment. If it's dancing, dance your little heart out. If it's colouring or drawing or painting, 
do some of that, what, whatever it is. I don't know, you could be doing something absolutely amazing, making creative videos or news articles that are positive, whatever, whatever you want to do. Go and live with that. So heart space. We're all in this expanding heart space where we can live the most amazing lives. Blessings.